Ciao, I am Custom Chess. In this episode of Roma Custom Bike, we will create a functional piece with CNC machine. In the first part, we came up with the design. In this second one, we'll make the actual piece. So this is my studio's recording booth, which has now turned into a machine shop, apparently. Um, since it's going to be very hard to comment this, um, especially in two languages, as this show is also available in Italian, I've decided to just shoot the whole process and then I will comment it later. So we're starting by loading our stock plate in the CNC machine and getting started with machining this piece. Let's go! There are many ways to secure the stock to the CNC machine. In my case, I use some bars and some screws. Once the stock is secured to the CNC, we can proceed with resetting the coordinates of the axis and with determining the zero point of the vertical axis that should correspond to the top of the stock. To do that, I need to bring the anvil to the surface of the stock very slowly so I don't remove too much material. I just have to touch it lightly. Since most of the stock you buy has been in some way bent, I like to take more than one measurement so that I can be sure to reset the axis at the highest point of the stock so that the end mill will never have to bite into more material that it can handle. We start the emulsion fluid needed to lubricate and cool down the end mill and we can start with carving out the back pocket, the one that will hold the original part. In real life this process will take about 30 minutes since my CNC machine can only carve a third of a millimeter at a time. But with the beauty of post-production we can put the video in fast forward. So enjoy! There we go, the back pocket is done. Now the first thing I want to check is that the reverse engineering of the original piece we did at the beginning yield accurate results. Awesome, the piece fits perfectly. Now, before we can flip the piece, we have to create some type of reference to guarantee that the front and back machining will align perfectly. To achieve that, we'll have to create two true holes from the back that we can see in the front once we flip the piece to use as reference. Now that the stock has been flipped, the end mill has been positioned by the computer in the exact position where the first reference point should be. All we have to do is make sure that the hole in the stock perfectly aligns with the end mill before proceeding with the second reference hole. Once everything is set, we can secure the stock. Now, let's start the carving of the front part. One of the advantages of keeping the CNC machine here in the studio is that while the machine works, I can chill out and jam with my guitar.
Okay, so now we're running the final run for this uh, aluminum piece, which is the cutout passage, uh, which is the contour that will cut out the piece from um, the main, the, from the stock. So this is a pretty exciting moment because that's when you actually see the final part come to life. And uh, if something goes wrong right now, um, we're gonna have to start over from the very beginning. So let's hope everything goes well and let's start the process. So here it is, we've got the piece all nicely machined, we know that the back part fits, so we're nice and dandy. <laughs> A little polishing, let's proceed with the copper part, let's go. Okay, so now it's time to position the copper plate into the machine and proceed with working in the logo, the lettering, and cutting it out. Uh, this will make the insert. Consider that I've placed my design, taking into consideration this empty spot, so it'll come about right here um, on the copper plate. So let's proceed with positioning, changing the um, end mill, and uh, carving it out. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> So now also the copper part is done, as you can see, and it came out awesome. Now we bring this to the shop for polishing as well, and we'll be done very shortly. We're now in the shop to sand down the pieces, to remove any machining mark, and uh, to remove the two tabs that kept the pieces in place until the end of the cutout process. So, I've already sanded them down, removed the tabs, so we're now ready to proceed with the polishing part. Everything is now polished, um, both the copper plate and the aluminum part. Although this one, um, this will end up in the oven with a little powder coating to make the edge and the holes black, uh, just like every other piece in the Fuck Authority series. Um, so we'll now proceed with putting them onto the bike. The parts for the first time on the bike instead of the paper model. And I'm very excited about this because finally I get to be, see the piece on the bike. So we insert the original part in the aluminum part, we fit it on top of the bolts, we place the copper insert and using the two original bolts we secure it in place. Of course I'm going to tie it up with a wrench up to torque specification from the shop manual 
but uh, the piece is in place and it looks magnificent. In this video I've tried to give you a glimpse into the process of creating a part for a bike. But this process can be applied to pretty much anything. The only limit is your imagination. So this is it for this video. Don't forget to leave a comment, they're always welcome. And if you like it, please tell your friends. I am Custom Chess and I'll see you next time here on Roma Custom Bike.